hey guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be my very first cooking video and we are gonna be making imitation crab i want to say like a salad type of thing now let me just tell you guys what you need if you guys want to follow my recipe okay so obviously a cooking board don't mind the cat in the back your knife your shredder a bowl a pino onion tomato limes you can do limes lemon both um this is all we have at my parents house salt pepper and then i have the last ingredient that i put in it that makes it taste different i'll show you guys that when i pull it out because it's in the fridge and it's the moisture sauce if that's how you say it yeah that's what we're using and then the imitation crab is in the sink defrosting because it was in the freezer Okay, so let's get started on cutting up all these things, okay? Okay, so normally I don't peel my pepino right here. I peel it over the trash can. But I am sitting here to show you guys. Whoa. I don't wash the pepino because I obviously peel it, but I'll wash the tomato and this is already a used onion, so it's been washed. Okay, and I'm just going to show you guys how I cut it. I like to cut it in little pieces. I don't like big old pieces of cucumber or onion or tomato, so don't be lazy. I'm put big old chunks in there.
got to chop these up. Okay, so now that I have cucumbers, onions, tomatoes in here, I'm gonna start putting the lemon. Um, I don't put jalapenos in it because Ozias Ozias likes this. If you guys didn't hear me, um, so I can't put jalapeno in it. But you can make the chili on the side. Like my sister has a green chili she made. I'll probably just put that in my like in my own little bowl, just so Ozias can eat it. Again, just the process. I'm just gonna fast forward because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me go slow as hell. Um, you can cut it like I do. I do. I cut it just to go fast. I have my dad, but like, let me show you guys. So the imitation crab. Let it focus, real quick. It does like these little. It has like these little shredding things. Why is it not focusing? Where is it? Yeah. See, it has these little shreds. So you can see here if you have the time or if you're like not in a rush to eat, then you can sit there and just spread them or like, you know, just pull them apart. But a bitch is hungry. Um, you guys probably heard my dad talking about tacos. Yes, I'm tacos too. Um, but if you're hungry, it's easier just to use a knife. And then I just go with the with the line, so I don't I don't go like against the lines I just check the imitation craft to see where the lines are at and then I just go with it just to make it easier you know and then I just put them put it to the side and then I just cut them up right here um i used three lemons by the way i don't know if you guys if i said how many lemons i was going to use or limes i should say um 
I only put three in just because I didn't know how much crap I was going to use, but I used the entire thing. So I'm going to put one or two more um, lemon. Yeah, you guys can see it's pretty, pretty full. It's the next day and I'm just gonna finish this recipe because I don't know if I'm gonna show a clip but Ozias broke a candle so we had to quit and cleaned up and then my parents go home and we eat tacos and I just didn't have time and my battery was at like five percent. So anyways, this is it. Um it's been eight. But um I just added another pepino, so I did two pepinos, and then I added the little tiny um, tomatoes. I added three of those, um, just because when I was looking at it, it looked like there was a lot of crab in it. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna put more. So normally, if you don't have a toddler or kids that don't eat spicy, then you don't put the jalapenos in it or the serrano or whatever. So this is the chili that my sister made, just regular homemade chile and it's like i told you guys this tastes so good with doritos i barely taste it with doritos and it's like my favorite now i almost forgot holy shit i put cilantro in it um when i was almost done making it i was like oh my god i'm missing something when i tasted it and it was a cilantro so my dad had cilantro from the tacos and instead of me chopping them up like i normally do um i just grabbed a bunch of cilantro from the little baggy and I put them in here and then I just mixed it and it was good and this is super good and I like that my sister made it feel like kind of spicy but I recommend you guys put chile like the jalapenos if you guys can like or in a separate bowl do it because it tastes so much better mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys liked this recipe so thanks for watching let me make high bar if you guys have not subscribed yet subscribe down below give this video a fat thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye